Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are 5-1 in conference, 8-2 and two overall. Let's just look at the conference standings here. To start off this episode, you see that Boise State actually taking care of business on their side of the conference. They are 8-2, and two, and it looks like they are going to be headed to the conference championship in a couple of weeks. So looking at our players of the game, we did have a double header last time. So Montel Aaron, he had a near perfect game. One of the games he gets player of the game. Matt Pollard actually is the surprise receiving leader on this season. He gets a plus one and it's a pretty much a broken record with Andre Armstead. Just straight destroying fools this second half of the season. And then Trey Webb, obviously the junior All-American, the preseason All-American. He gets the player of the game as well. So I am deciding to put Trey White at the left cornerback. I like what I see out of him. He does use his speed well. And then we're just looking at the top 25 here. Washington and LSU are the only undefeated teams. They are both 10-0. and And they are looking like they are headed at least to their conference championships. If they get through that, they're in the driver's seat for the national championship. So Khalil Tate is leading the Heisman voting here in season two. And a lot of experts predicted that to happen in real life before this past season. And Khalil Tate just didn't have the season that, you know, everybody thought he was going to have. But that doesn't mean he can't bounce back. But here looking at UNLV, who we are going up against in this game. Armani Rogers is definitely a guy that we got to contain. He's ran for 661. He's a dual threat guy. He's only a junior. He's going to be back next year as well. They do have a capable running back in Charles Williams as well. So we do have to watch out for this running attack. So here we go to start this game out. We actually do lose the toss this game as Jamal Taylor is deep to receive this kick at home here and to make it a nine win season but here is san jose state break it to the outside and look at jamal taylor the true freshman taking his first kick return back for a touchdown 102 yards and man it's been a while since we've returned one of these four touchdowns i think ty Cottrell returned one last year but i think that was it pretty much so now we're on the board. What a way to start out this game here. Seven nothing as here's Charles Williams getting the first carry up the middle. And that, that's actually Tyson Parker on the opening tackle. So now on a second and 10, here's Rogers quick throw over the middle. There's Godfrey open for a 12 yard gain and he gets a first down. So now they are running the hurry up in this game, but here's Rogers scrambling out to the right side and stiff arming Trey White and picking up nine yards on that scramble. So now on a first and 10, close to the 50-yard line. Here is Williams getting an open lane to the outside, and he's getting tackled from behind by Jonathan Leonard Jr., but not before a 17-yard gain. So now at the 30-yard line, they're giving it right back to Williams. He's getting to the left side this time and getting inside the 20 as he's got a gain of 13. So now facing a second and 10 at about the 20-yard line here, a broken tackle there by Hollinsworth, the backup running back, and Tariq Hollinsworth has taken that ball for a nine-yard carry. But on a third and one this time, he's not getting away from Ethan Aguayo, our leading tackler on the team and the leading tackler in the nation. And we do get them to settle for three points. So now on the next drive, here's a throw out to the right side. That's Matt Pollard. And actually, the surprise of this year at receiver is 100% Matt Pollard. I didn't think that he would be as good as he is. He's... His hands are reliable. And you know what's funny is a lot of these guys, they're not really rated high in catching. They're around the low 70s, and they still get it done. And that's one of the things that I really like about Matt Pollard. You see here throwing across the top of the defense, that's Billy Humphreys on the catch. But a lot of these guys do not have great catching ratings, but they just get it done for this offense. So now inside the 15-yard line, quick throw across the middle. That's actually Wolf, who was our walk-on receiver. He picks up nine. So now third and three inside the five-yard line. Here's a handoff to Tyler Nevins. He's picking up some blocks, and he's getting in for the touchdown. That's our early 14-3 lead here for San Jose, and we take the 11-point lead. But here is Charles Williams in this rushing attack. He's picking up 10 on that first carry and picking up a first down. 
So now first and ten here. Here is Rogers scrambling out to the right side Bruh. this time. Going to throw a stiff arm to Ethan Aguayo, and that's something you don't see every day. Ethan Aguayo getting stiff arm like that by a quarterback, but he does get his revenge with the big hit on Charles Williams, bringing it to a third and three. So here, hand off to the left side. There is Ethan Aguayo getting to Charles Williams, and that's only a gain of one as we get them to punt the ball away. So now here we come back out on the next drive, handing it off to Tyler Nevins. That's a gain of five, five for the sophomore. So now on a third and five, quick throw across the middle. That's a slant route to Trey Walker. And that's a gain of nine for his first catch of the game. So now a minute and a half left in the first quarter. There's a throw deep to Matt Pollard, but that's a nice play by Farrell Hester as he prevents the big play across the middle. So facing a third and four, here's Montel Aaron in the shotgun, throwing out to the left side. That's almost picked off as that's a dangerous throw, and they force the punt. So now inside their 10-yard line, here is Rodgers under center to start out this next drive, throwing to the sideline. That's actually going to be caught, but actually tackled behind the line. But who else is there for the tackle? It's the senior Ethan Aguayo. So now on a second and 12, throw out to the left side. That's Tyson Parker with almost an interception as he doesn't get many of those opportunities. He should have had that one. So now facing a third and 12, quick throw to the left side and that's going to be incomplete as they have to punt the ball there on a three and out. So on the punt, here's Jamal Taylor. Can he make it a kick return and a punt return for a touchdown? He gets to the outside, a gain of 26 as he gets tackled close to the 20 yard line. So now set up with great field position. Here's Zamor Ziegler getting the counter to the right side. He's picking up a gain of about 16, getting inside the five. And this is looking ugly already as we are now inside the five here. On a third and goal, here's Montel Aaron running the read option, diving into the end zone. And wow, look at this. It is 21 to three at the start of the second quarter. So now here's a quick throw on the next drive across the middle to Stevenson. Makai Stevenson picks up about a 20 yard gain. So now here is Rodgers throwing across the middle this time, finding Woods Jr. who's actually his leading receiver coming into this game. He gets a gain of 11. So now inside the 10 yard line, they are set up with great field position to get into the end zone. And Rodgers scrambles in for the touchdown, but take a look, it's a clipping. So this play does come back and the touchdown is negated. So now on a third and 15, throw out to the left side is Rodgers to Andre Collins Jr and he can't get the first down. And look at this, on a fourth and inches, they actually kick a field goal. That's actually pretty questionable given the stakes of this game and the season that they're having. So now we do get the ball back with the 21 to six lead. And here's Tyler Nevins getting the carry up the middle on a third and four. Zamora Ziegler getting the handoff this time and getting to the outside and juking his way up for 14 yards, close to the 50 yard line. So now on a first and 10. Throw out to the right side. There's Matt Pollard, who's pretty polished with his route running. I'm really, really surprised at that. I didn't expect him to be such a great route runner because he's getting it done. Even with 83 speed, he's getting it done on the outside. So now facing a third and three from the shotgun at the 30-yard line. Play action fake. Wide open is Billy Humphreys, and the junior tight end picks up 20 yards as he moves the ball inside the 15. So now milk, milking this clock a little bit. Here's Trey Walker getting the jet sweep, but he can't get to the outside. He doesn't have that breakaway speed, but he makes it a third and 11. So now here's Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side. Going to throw across the middle. That's Trey Walker, and that's a touchdown 13 yards out. And look at this score, 28-6 to six here in the first half. I definitely did not see this coming, especially with the running attack that UNLV has. We've had problems and difficulties stopping teams that can run the ball well but we do get them here down by three scores as Brandon Presley gets open on the sideline there for a gain of 16. So here's Rodgers throwing out to the right side here 15 seconds left that's a gain of four once again so now second and six 15 seconds left throwing out deep to the left side that's actually picked off by Trey White the sophomore we just started him before this game and he's already making plays and you can already tell a lot of these guys think they have the speed to break away from him but he's got that 90 speed he can catch up with the fastest receivers 
And that interception brings us into halftime up 28 to six. So now here to start the second half, remember we did lose the coin toss. I think we've only lost two now. I think we lost one last game as here is Williams on the next drive. Picking up a running lane to the left right. side. He avoids the last tackler. That's Andre Armstead on the dive, and he can't make the tackle. And all ready to start this second half, a long run. And like I said, this has been our Achilles heel. But look at this. We have two guys right there to right. stop the run, and somehow Charles Williams breaks through that, and that's a touchdown, and that's a quick score as they're right back in this game, down by two scores. So on the next possession here is Tyler Nevins picking up the screen play and getting to the outside. And he's moving the ball to the 50-yard line as that's actually nice play execution by our offensive line getting out there on the screen. So now here on a second and four, here's Montel Aaron past the 50-yard line, throwing out to Zamore Ziegler. Ziegler's breaking a tackle and picking up a gain of eight as he's there on the 35-yard line for a fresh set of downs. So now here on the second and 10, here's Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side, trying to show off his mobility as he's heard that Drayvon Jennings just committed to SJSU and he's got to show that he's mobile because, you know, Drayvon Jennings, he just he's just going to bring a different dynamic to this offense. And I'm not sure if we're going to redshirt him or not, but it's going to be interesting. I don't know what that QB competition is going to look like, but it's definitely interesting seeing that Drayvon Jennings got some arm strength as Zamor Ziegler. Oh! Puts the juke move on the defender and gets in for the touchdown. And they just cannot stop our offense. It's 35 to 14. And Zamor Ziegler just doing his thing. He's breaking a school record here. 16 touchdowns on the ground. As that is another touchdown added to his legacy here in only two years here. And he, this is his first year at running back. I'm surprised to see him doing this well. I thought he was just going to be more of a scat back. But, you know, when he gets the ball, you know, it's just a big difference and a big difference maker he makes to our offense. As here's Armani Rogers scrambling out for eight yards. So now second and eight at the 25-yard line. Hand off to the left side. Here's Charles Williams only picking up two. Besides that one long run, he's got 150 yards plus on the day. But he hasn't ran the ball too well consistently so now here on a third down here's a throw out to Hollinsworth and they don't pick up the first and they actually kick another field goal I mean just questionable play calling here by UNLV I'm not sure why they're kicking field goals I mean they're down by multiple scores they should be trying to go for more points so now here on the next drive here's the more Ziegler picking up the screen pit play and picking up nine yards so now facing a third and three throw to the sideline there is junior fioka 16 yards and that's enough for a first down as that is the red shirt freshman i'm actually excited for what he's going to bring in the future as he's actually going to be in line to probably start at tight end come two years billy humphreys does have another year under his belt come next year he will be a senior but i'm excited for this tight end core I do want to pick up a young tight end probably in recruiting next year we'll see how that goes we'll see how those uh submitted recruits go you guys need to get them in come next episode and we are gonna have next season's recruiting episode it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty good I can already feel it you guys had some great storylines for last season and it's gonna be fun next one as well so now facing a third and 17 after the sack, throwing out to the right side, and they forget about the senior Bailey Gaither. 20 yards down the sideline, and Montel Aaron's having himself a game. Game six incompletions, 17 for 23, two touchdowns. I mean, you can't ask for more out of your junior quarterback as man is he having himself a pretty gotcha, good bitch. stretch with these last few games. So now back out on the next possession. Here's Andre Armstead getting in for the sack. It wasn't long before we uh, said his name as this is where he thrives. When teams try to throw the ball and try to catch up with their offense, this is where they shine their pass rush with Terrence Miller, Jesse Ozuna, and Andre Armstead. So now facing a second and 11, close to the 50-yard line. Here is Rodgers rolling out to the right side and stopped by Andre Armstead and cleaned up by Terrence Miller, and that's a sack two sacks for the two freshmen so now facing a third and 19 here is another sack and there's Andre Armstead using the Dwight Freeney spin move on this one 
and he's got two sacks here on the final drive of this possession and UNLV punts the ball away conceding this game as we bring in the second stringers as here is Josh Love the senior trying to go deep to Jamal Taylor trying to get Jamal Taylor some playing time to get him some clock he's definitely our future at receiver he hasn't really got in much at all at receiver but because he is our return guy but you know I, I'm looking for him to have a big season next year so here's Josh Love getting him some playing time for his last season at San Jose State as he picks up about a gain of 16 on that but on the next drive here is a fumble and Williams the big guy is going to pick this up but he's not going anywhere you see Jamal Taylor right behind him you can see that speed on display as that's just the inexperience not tucking the ball away fumbling on the first sack and UNLV takes over inside about the 10 yard line so here is Woods Jr. getting the reception across the middle only picking up a gain of eight as they get it to the one so now on a second and goal toss out to Williams and Williams is going to get tackled by Trey Webb the preseason All-American and that makes it a third and goal so here is Rodgers under center this time going to be facing some pressure Andre Armstead almost gets there for the sack and now it comes down to this they're down by three scores fourth and goal here at the four yard line here is Rodgers throwing across the middle, and that's actually going to be knocked away by Isaac Tagia, and that's the way to end the game. This defense balled out, and they just did not allow anything big except for that long run by Charles Williams. I mean, that's the only big play we've allowed all game long, and that's just a great performance by both the offense and the defense. I think this is the game where both, of the, both sides of the ball came together, even special teams. All three phases of the game we dominated. And we came away with the victory with Montel Aaron having a near-perfect game at quarterback. I mean, I can't say enough about the season that he's been having and just seeing, you know, just a progression from him as you see Trey Walker at a touchdown, Bailey Gaither at a touchdown. But our defense really shined. Ethan Aguayo, once again, a double-digit sack game or tackle game. And then Armstead with a two-sack game. And Terrence Miller with one sack. And I, I'm, I'm pretty glad to see Trey White on the outside get an interception. I mean, it's kind of hard, especially defending guys on the left side of the field, especially when you don't have any definitive corners that can really shut people down. Um, Nehemiah Sheldon's actually having a pretty good season, but good to see Trey White get in in his sophomore season and get his interception with his first game starting. So we are going into the next game, and it is the last game of the season, of the regular season. So this pretty much punches our ticket to the conference championship as we'll see what the people, the teams behind us do. If they do lose, then we're definitely in. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We need one more win to get to 10 wins. I'm excited about that. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.